Welcome to Mr. Bebop. The Mysterious Affair at Styles is a detective novel and the first by British writer Agatha Christie. It introduces the popular detective of many of her later novels, Hercule Poirot. Here are some interesting facts and trivia about the novel. Agatha Christie's first novel was the result of a dare from her sister Madge, who challenged her to write a story. The dust jacket of the facsimile book edition references the legend of how Christie started writing. This novel was originally written as the result of a bet that the author, who had previously never written a book, could not compose a detective novel in which the reader would not be able to spot the murderer although having access to the same clues as the detective. The author certainly won her bet, and in addition to a most ingenious plot of the best detective type, she has introduced a new type of detective in the shape of a Belgian. Christie started writing the novel in 1916 while she was volunteering in Turkey Hospital Dispensary during World War I. Her knowledge of medicines from this role resulted in poison naturally becoming the murder method used in her debut novel. After being rejected by six publishers, the manuscript for The Mysterious Affair at Styles was finally accepted by John Lane in the U.S. and the Bodley Head in the U.K. four years after its completion. The book includes maps of the house, the murder scene, and a drawing of a fragment of a will. The book's dedication reads, to my mother. Christie's mother was a strong influence on her life and someone to whom Christie was extremely close, especially after the death of her father in 1901. It was while Christie was ill, sometime in 1908, that her mother suggested she write a story. The result was The House of Beauty, now a lost work which hesitantly started her writing career. The mysterious affair at Styles is told in the first person by Hastings and features many of the elements that have become icons of the golden age of detective fiction largely due to Christie's influence. It is set in a large isolated country manor. There are many suspects most of whom are hiding facts about themselves, and the plot includes a number of red herrings and surprise twists. The story begins when Hastings is sent back to England from the First World War due to injury and is invited to spend his sick leave at the beautiful Styles Court by his old friend John Cavendish. Here, Hastings meets John's stepmother, Mrs. Emily Inglethorpe, and her new husband, Alfred. Despite the tranquil surroundings, Hastings begins to realize that all is not right. When Mrs. Inglethorpe is found poisoned, Suspicion falls on the family, and another old friend, Hercule Poirot, who conveniently lives nearby, is invited to investigate. Hercule Poirot Renowned Belgian private detective After being displaced by the war in Europe, he lives in England at the boarding house in style St. Mary, courtesy of Emily Inglethorpe, who put up a group of Belgian refugees in town, with Poirot among them. 
he was asked to investigate the case by his old friend Hastings. Hastings Poirot's friend and the narrator of the story. He is a guest at Styles Court while on sick leave from the Western Front. Inspector Jap A Scotland Yard detective and the investigating officer. He is an acquaintance of Poirot at the time of the novel setting. Emily Inglethorpe A wealthy old woman and the wife of Alfred Inglethorpe. She inherited her fortune and her home of Styles Court following the death of her first husband, Mr. Cavendish. She is the victim of the case. Alfred Inglethorpe Emily's second husband and 20 years younger than she is, considered by her family to be a spoiled fortune hunter. John Cavendish Emily's elder stepson from her first husband's previous marriage and the brother of Lawrence. John formerly practiced as a barrister and has known Hastings for many years. It is he who invites Hastings to Styles near the beginning of the story. He is going through some issues with his marriage to his wife Mary. Mary Cavendish John's wife and a friend of Dr. Bowerstein. Lawrence Cavendish, Emily's younger stepson from her first husband's previous marriage and the brother of John, known to have studied medicine and qualified as a doctor. Evelyn Howard, Emily's companion and a second cousin of Alfred Inglethorpe, of whom she nevertheless expresses a strong dislike. Cynthia Murdoch, the daughter of a deceased friend of the family, an orphan. She performs wartime work at a nearby hospital's dispensary. Dr. Bowerstein, a well-known toxicologist living not far from Stiles. Dorcas, a maid at Stiles, loyal to Mrs. Inglethorpe. The Mysterious Affair at Styles was adapted as an episode for the series Agatha Christie's Poirot on September 16, 1990. The episode was specially made by ITV to celebrate the centenary of the author's birth. The cast included David Suchet as Hercule Poirot, Hugh Fraser as Lieutenant Arthur Hastings, and Philip Jackson as Inspector James Jack. It was filmed at Shaven H House in Gloucestershire, England. The adaptation was generally faithful to Christie's story, although there were a number of deviations from it. The adaptation also provided further elaboration on Hastings' first meeting with Poirot. The pair met during an investigation into a shooting in which Hastings was a suspect. The novel was adapted as a TV miniseries for Latvia's Televisia. It was broadcast over three nights in 1990. Being a miniseries with a total runtime of approximately 198 minutes, it included many details from the novel that were omitted from other shorter adaptations and was generally faithful to the novel. Interestingly, the ending sequence follows Christie's original unpublished version, where Poirot makes his final revelations in the courtroom rather than in Styles Court. It was adapted for an episode of Le Petit Muer di Agatha Christie, which was broadcast in 2016. The series stars Samuel Labarth as Swan Lawrence, who replaces the character of Poirot in this adaptation. This version has many differences from the novel, but the core story is the same. In this adaptation, Styles Court is a beauty spa instead of a country house. The novel was adapted for radio by Michael Bakewell as a five-part serial in 2005, as part of the Hercule Poirot radio series for BBC Radio 4. The cast included John Moffat 
as Poirot and Simon Williams as Captain Hastings. Inspector Jap was played by Philip Jackson, who had played the same role in the British television adaptation. This version retained the first-person narration by the character of Hastings. On February 14, 2012, Great Lakes Theatre in Cleveland, Ohio, debuted a 65-minute stage adaptation as part of their educational programming. Adapted by David Hansen, this production is performed by a cast of five, three men and two women, with most performers playing more than one role. On March 17, 2016, the Hedgerow Theatre Company in Media, Pennsylvania, premiered an adaptation by Jared Reed. While largely faithful to the novel, the character of Inspector Jap was omitted. Thank you for watching. See you again next time.